Welcome back everybody to another video and today we're looking at this Breville Juice Fountain Juicer. It's absolutely insane and the main purpose I bought it was for all those fruit and vegetables that were going to go bad. I wanted to make them have a purpose. So now I can use this for carrots, celery, I can use this for oranges, apples, grapefruit, whatever I buy, I can literally juice and then get fresh juice out of it instead of it going to waste. And then of course, if you wanted fresh juice as well, this is a great solution. Now, the first thing you'll notice is on the one side is the juice container, which goes perfect to this little straw that comes out of the machine, basically a little funnel. Uh, it holds up to a liter, actually a little bit more if you really wanted, but I would suggest sticking to the liter. It would take quite a bit to fill this up, so keep that in mind. Um, it's a nice container, it's anti-spill, and it has this little mechanism which helps catch the foam from the juice. You'll see what I mean in a few seconds. On this other side is the pulp chute. So this is where all the pieces of fruit go into. It kind of swirls around, you're going to see, and it all of it goes into there. It will be so dry, you'll notice how weird it is when we get it out. Um, but that is where the pulp goes into. And then of course up here is where we put the fruit into. So I'll show you that as well. Um, now right now you can see it's in the locked position, but as soon as we pop this down, we can now start to take it a place, which I will show you the process I do to clean it when we're done making the actual juice and testing it. But for now we'll have it in the locked position. When it's unlocked, it will not turn on. Now at the bottom, all you have is a softer low setting and then a high setting. I use high for any hard fruit, such as apples, uh, even oranges sometimes. With stuff like oranges, you wanna make sure the peel is peeled before, otherwise you might get a super bitter taste. Now today over here, I just have some gala apples. I have half a lemon, cause I like that sourness taste, and then just a little knob of ginger. Uh, so it should be an interesting just kind of apple juice with a little bit of a twist to it. And once we get started here, I won't be able to talk because it's gonna be super loud. So I will mute this and we'll kind of speed through the process and you can see how I do it. It's very, very simple. So now after you're done, you can see how easy that was. That literally took me about a minute total to make this. Um, we, I let the juice little usually settle a little bit. You can see there's a thick foam here. That's just from the juice being processed super quick. Uh, so that will go down. Uh, the design of this machine makes it so it's very easy to clean. So let's start by looking at our juice here. So this is ginger, apple, and lemon. We got about 500 mils, which is about two cups. Um, when it settles, it'll be around two cups. Uh, some of that foam does evaporate a little bit. So now let's take a look at actually having a cup of this juice. Let's take it here. Let's grab our little cat mug. Let's pour some in there. Take a look, right? We can see we got a little orange tinge to it from the apple and the ginger. And when I smell it, it smells great. Wow. That is good. And the lemon gives it a nice sour taste as well to the apple, but it's not too, too sour. Um, so just amazing. That is some super good juice. Look at that. Just a nice bright orange almost from the lemon and the ginger. So now let me show you how to take this apart. So first I move the juice container out. You can just store that in the fridge like that if you want, or put it in another container, maybe something that's airtight, um, but totally up to you. Now you want to take this off, and I just go and rinse this piece off by itself. It's really usually pretty clean. I then take the chute, and you can see you'll get, sorry, I'm going to move this back a little bit. You can see you get some pulp stuck on the chute. I just usually go and scrape it. Um, I'm going to show you the pulp here in a second, uh, but it's pretty insane how much they actually get out of it. Um, so that's usually about as good as it gets. And then you just rinse that uh, in your sink. So there is all the pulp in there. Uh, and as you can see, it is pretty much completely dry. Uh, so you really don't get anything left in that at all, uh, which is pretty insane how much liquid they get out of there. Then I just take a knife or something and I pop out the little funnel piece. 
You want to make sure you wash that and then just give it a quick scrub around the edge with the scrubby brush that, brush that comes with it. And then I take this portion and give it a quick rinse and that's literally everything. Uh, everything else is all good to go. Your base should be pretty clean and that's all you need for your juice fountain. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. I really appreciate you checking it out and I'll see you in the next one.